So someone could be obsessed or consumed with devouring your peace, stopping your peace, trying to stop you from achieving peace. Um, it's like somebody doesn't want something to transform, change. This person is very much in their low vibrational energy. They do not want things to change, especially for you if it means some anything or something positive is coming in for you. Someone's trying to do something... Um, in a way that if your peace is affected, um, they have more, I don't know, they feel like they have more pull or authority to do something or accomplish something, possibly control something regarding your life or your situation. You have someone here who's in despair and they're working really hard, the King of Cups. So you could be the King of Cups. Someone could be in despair, upset about your hard work. The fact that you've been possibly working hard to have peace, achieve peace, you know, especially if you do um, anything regarding with energy um, or just, you know, just maintaining a peaceful life in general. But especially if you do any spiritual work re related to energy or, um, you know, using your energy or reading other people's energy, you have to maintain a certain neutrality and keep your emotions in check, your energy in check. And someone is in despair that your hard work is paying off and you're actually able to maintain your peace because they've been working really hard to try to stop that from happening. Um, they, they could be trying to interfere with um, your chakras or whatever to, um, you know, block you. And by doing this, by um, creating emotional situations or making, like, they're trying to trigger you so that they could steal something. They didn't want you to see this, so they could be trying to, like, blind your third eye or something like that, or stop you from being grounded. Um, your sacral chakra could be significant here. They don't want you to see what's coming because they were trying to steal something from you, and now they want to come in um, with the Knight of Swords. With the Five of Swords, they want to rush in with some sort of truth or speak something to you <clears throat> to help clean up this betrayal. Someone can't stop thinking about money or finances. This could be you. Um, it could be this person rushing in to speak something to you about finances, or they could be rushing in to speak some sort of quote-unquote truth to you if they're trying to clean up a betrayal and they're a thief, um, strongly getting an energy of deception. I'm not um, believing that they're going to be speaking the whole truth. Uh, there could be some manipulation with the words. Um, it's like word semantics. It's like, oh, I can't stand that shit. Somebody is like trying to manipulate the words in a conversation so that it doesn't look as bad for them or so that they can kind of cover something up, cover up um, the fact that they're a thief or a liar. It's like, well, I said this, not this. It, it's like they're playing on technicalities. It's, it's like... <laughs> how lawyers would do you know in a courtroom well you know if someone wins like on a technicality or something like that someone wants to win on a technicality but not because of the truth and this could even just be in conversation it's like they want authority or power or try to even gaslight you into believing whatever that they are going to tell you they really want you to believe whatever they're going to tell you you know the king of cups you could be emotionally balanced, but this is also possibly an indication that someone's using emotionally manipulative tactics, which would make sense if they're trying to manipulate your chakras. They're going to try to attack you and your emotions so that you're not balanced energetically to throw you off so you can't see something, so you can't read something. You could be a reader, or you could just have one of the gifts. Um, like I said, spiritual gifts or deal with energy. You don't have to, but they're definitely trying to affect your energy um, by trying to steal your peace nonetheless. <clears throat> so you can be moving in silence or someone is trying to be sneaky and stealthy to try to keep you bound and trapped, but you could be moving in silence to be, um, you know, working on setting yourself free from a negative situation. You could be feeling bound or trapped and you could be working on um, your finances to try to set yourself free. So you may need resources or money to get free from something. That could be you who's thinking about money. It could, al it could also be um, somebody who is working really hard to steal money. And they could still be plotting and planning on how to do this. Justice is being restored, though, because you know some sort of truth or someone is being awakened to the truth. The Ace of Swords, you see things for what they are. You're very open. Um... Your crown chakra could be very significant here. 
And I don't usually speak too much on chakras, but someone is definitely doing some sort of manipulation with the chakras. And this is intentional. So there's a group of people here with the Eight of Wands in the reverse and bad luck for the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse. So there's a group of people here who were thieves. They were trying to steal something. <clears throat> they made a really bad decision here, okay? So when they were faced with a decision or a choice, the Wheel of Fortune, that could take them up higher on the wheel. There's a group here that really made a bad choice to attack somebody who was a very loving and caring and balanced person. They were not, not only able to affect this person the way they thought they were going to, to manipulate them, they were not able to steal something which has them in despair because your hard work is paying off. They can't affect your work or whatever it is you're doing. And this can be spiritual work, mental work, you know, um, whatever work. It doesn't have to be actual physical labor or a career. It could just be work that you're doing on yourself to heal. You could be a healer. So someone walked away. So someone has become kind of obsessed or they can't stop thinking or daydreaming about either you or taking something from you or, um, you know, however that is. You walked away from this person. That is a challenge for them. You walked away so they no longer have access to you. So if they were trying to steal physical property, you walked away from this person and they can't stop thinking about it, daydreaming about it. They see you as someone who is held in high honor and they're still thinking about you, daydreaming about you. But it's not necessarily that they miss you. It could be they're still daydreaming and thinking about what whatever this is that they were trying to steal or take from you and your hard work. So if they did any sort of actual spell work, like, you know, obsession or love magic or anything like that, it kind of has backfired and now they can't stop thinking about you. If they wanted you to be thinking about them you're not really, I, I feel like you're not because you're working on you and you're working on healing or doing whatever this is, just moving on with your life, um, just maintaining your peace. This person doesn't bring you peace. They're the king of swords in the reverse. They're an energy vampire, time, money, you know, whatever. They're a vampire. They, they're very draining, especially energetically. This person was very reckless with trying to affect your gifts, steal your gifts, put you in hermit mode. They wanted you to be in isolation. They lied. I mean, they were just very reckless and careless. And they were trying to take possibly your ability, your spiritual gifts even, your ability to make money or use your spiritual gifts. They really wanted to affect your gifts so that you wouldn't see something. You could be a psychic or a medium. Like, you could be able to see the future. There's something that you're able to see, okay? So it's some form of divination that you're possibly able to do here. And they thought if they isolated you, you'd be an easier target to attack. And you wouldn't be able to see the fact that they were a thief and they were trying to steal something from you and they were a cold-hearted vampire. A problem for them challenge for them they created a very emotional situation when they put you in isolation and if you do have one of these gifts you actually do better when you're separated from people and you're able to heal and your energy is clear so <laughs> that kind of backfired on whoever this was i don't know if they know what they're doing or if they have um any spiritual gifts we haven't gotten too far into this and it hasn't really come out so much about their energy yet uh, about what they know, what they don't know. But they created a very emotional situation by isolating you and causing you all this conflict. And you're the queen of, you're in your queen of swords energy, so you're not easily manipulated. Your cutoff game is very strong. You can come across as cold hearted because you're not dealing with bullshit. You know, you, you know how to keep your peace and you know that this is a karmic. So there's a karmic situation, a karmic lover who wants to come in and date you or act like they want to date you, or something like that. It's like they want to come in and emotionally manipulate you. Um, they may be asking you out on a date, but you have a clean slate. They could want a clean slate with you. They could be asking you, like, out to dinner or something like that. They want you to believe whatever they're going to say. And they could be the kind of person that would say, trust me, trust me. 
you have to trust somebody. They could even try to play on some old traumas or something. Well, you have to trust somebody sometime. They could call you paranoid, something like that. Once again, they're just trying to manipulate how you see things in your own energy. And if you have any of these gifts, you know how to read your own energy. This person thought they were going to have money coming towards them. And they could have possibly been trying to stop some money coming to you. Because you're going to be moving and traveling. Even if you're heavily burdened, Ten of Wands, you're moving out of that you know, with your strength and your courage, you know, you've had to persevere through all these burdens and you're going to be traveling on. You're moving on. So there was definitely a betrayal by the King of Swords. So double confirmation that this person is not to be trusted. You're a Queen of Pentacles, okay? You're in your Queen. Of, you could be in your Queen of Pentacles energy, or there's a Queen of Pentacles here and a union and a wounded warrior. So, oh. So not only is this person cold-hearted, they're emotionally unstable, they're unbalanced, okay? So this King of Swords and this King of Cups could be the same person. They could be in despair of your hard work, with your hard work here. <clears throat> and if you're in your Queen of Pentacles energy, you're good with money, budgeting, finances. So they know that if you get this money and you're already independent, like single, something like that, it's game over for them and they will never have an opportunity to come back in. So they could be trying to come back in and offer you a two of cups situation, <clears throat> like a partnership. But they've hurt you and they betrayed you, so you don't trust them already. You know they're a liar. You already know this. They're very dishonest. It's like all they do is lie. This person caused you a heartbreak. And not just a little heartbreak. They came towards you with a bullshit slippery offer here in the past just to give you heartbreak. Just to cause you heartbreak. It was not a solid love offer. And in fact, they created an emotional situation by leaving you out by yourself in hermit mode. By you know possibly wanting to keep you isolated and away from everybody so they could go do whatever they're going to do. And you healed from this. And something may be frozen or stuck or this person, that's the barrier. That's the barrier that this person is facing. They want to come towards you. They want to ask you out. They want to date you. They want to get back in by offering you this romantic relationship. And that's the barrier that they're facing is they can't just walk up on you. They can't just like show up at your house because they betrayed you, because they're a liar, because they're an energy vampire. Their energy makes you unnervous, unsettled. They've been experiencing bad luck. They could have lost some money. They may have been expecting some money. By them trying to stop you from making money or by trying to affect your gifts, they, they made that bad decision. So <clears throat> one of the bad decisions that they made had to do with money. Whether it was them trying to steal your money, stop you from getting some sort of money. They thought they had money coming to them and it was by stealing it from you by either intercepting it or legitimately just robbing you of it of some way. There's going to be a cause for celebration regarding some information or communication you're going to receive. So you're going to receive some sort of happy news. Yeah, this person created a financial imbalance. <clears throat> they did not have a positive outcome. They could have traveled towards somebody else to offer them a cup, to be caring, compassionate. They gave their emotions to somebody else, and it ended up in a bad situation, and they did not have a positive outcome, and that could have affected their finances. So if they tried to affect your finances in some sort of way, when they traveled towards somebody else or chose to partner up with somebody else, or give their love or whatever this is to somebody else, they screwed up and they made a bad decision. They didn't <clears throat> come towards you with an offer. And if they did, well, when they did, when they actually did come towards you with an offer 
it was the page of cups okay they're not getting this new start this new beginning they're, it's over ten of swords something is permanently over if they thought that they were going to come back and enter into a new relationship with you possibly get a house from you um you know steal a job from you or even a large lump sum of money this could even be in the form of an inheritance life insurance policy whatever it's over they're not getting it <clears throat> so they could have taken a, uh, a financial loss here with the nine of pentacles they may not be able to rest easy they may not be able to be comfortable financially your strength and courage is helping is paying off for you it's helping you get through those ten of wands those heavy burdens here you're very courageous and you have a positive outcome and this has somebody in despair because you're coming out of the cold like they could have left you in the five of pentacles here alone out in the cold in isolation with nothing and you're going to be able to pull yourself up out of this this is this is, has this person in despair that you are able to come out of the cold and someone's coming towards you with an offer and they could be coming towards you with an offer as you're coming out of the cold or after you come out of this cold they could have been the kind of person that was um like if you were in a bad situation where you were struggling financially and maybe you you wanted to partner someone you know an equal give and take kind of thing there was never an equal give and take in this relationship okay they could have tried to make it sound like they wanted you to stand on your own like you needed to rebuild a life for yourself before they could ever entertain um the idea of actually being in a relationship with you so they kind of left you out in the cold to figure it out for yourself so you did so the energy is kind of like Okay, well, if you weren't there when I needed you, what do I need you for? And it's not because you were trying to use this person. It's like you could have legitimately needed help here. And, um, you know, you wanted a partner in, in an equal situation, but they felt like it was unequal. Um, maybe they thought they had more money than you or something like that. They could have thought they were better off financially. Whatever the reason is, they didn't come towards you and offer you a solid. Okay. And so they weren't there for you. Even if it was emotional support, they could have said something like, oh, I'll always be here for you, but I'm not going to do anything to help you in your situation. You need to figure it out for yourself. And then they just kind of ghosted you and left you hanging. Well, now that you're coming up out of this and you have a positive outcome, they're going to come back and like, oh, I knew you could do it. I, I always believed in you. Bullshit, motherfucker. <laughs> bullshit i'm calling bullshit on all this they're coming back after you pull after you're gonna pull yourself up out of this shit and they're gonna be like oh i always believed in you i knew you could do it and it's like uh 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 yeah i told you this king of swords is coming back this shady ass mofo they're coming back you haven't been communicating with this person or you didn't get a message from them or they tried to send you a communication or a message, something like that. You could have been ignoring them. They can't rest maybe because you're not responding to them. Uh, it could really bother them that you're not um, acknowledge, acknowledging them in some sort of way. They may have already tried to reach out and you kind of denied access. You could have done a cord cutting, whatever it is that you do. Um, and like I said, it could just be the fact that you have them blocked or you're just not answering, but it really bothered them that you didn't allow them to manipulate you. And now they want to come towards you now that you're pulling yourself up out of this and act like they were your biggest cheerleader the whole time. This person betrayed you. They're a thief and they're worried about their own financial stability. So that is a challenge that it is being faced um this person that betrayed you they are currently worried about their financial situation so their finances have been affected because they tried to affect yours so if they know you have money coming to you or you're pulling yourself out of this bad situation you're able to support yourself now these, this mofo is going to show back up and um, act like they were with you the whole time and they they were not you're gifted and talented they had you in a competition they could have been trying to compete with you for your gifts or they put you in a competition who, um, you know, with someone who is not gifted like you are. Um, Six of Pentacles here. Financial balance is being restored. Whatever gifts you have, it's bringing financial stability and balance. And they can't stand that. I mean, they chose wrong but on so many levels. 
by either competing with you or having someone else compete for your attention, your love, or their love. It's like they wanted you to compete for them and you refuse to play the game. Something's not moving for them. They're stuck. Their finances are stuck. They're stagnant and they know it. And they feel like if they come back towards you, because you have this money coming towards you. Yeah. And there's an empress in the reverse here. So there's they chose an empress in the reverse. This would be a mother, wife, lover. So they chose an empress in the reverse or were influenced by an empress in the reverse to not come towards you. And they made this offer towards somebody else. And so, I mean, they betrayed you. What did they expect? They wanted to fuck around and find out, and they did. Yeah, this masculine could have been a dark practitioner, or they chose a high priestess. So there's a masculine energy here. These flew out in my lap. <clears throat> An older masculine energy, and then a high priest, high priestess energy in the reverse. And since it came out right after that, um, this person could be a practitioner, or... Um, the, the feminine energy, the empress energy, they could have worked with this feminine energy to do something to you. Yeah, now they somebody wants to come and offer you some flowers now. Now they want to be caring, compassionate. Now they want to act like they're going to show you some empathy. Uh, but they were a flying monkey. This person was a flying monkey. This isn't just a low vibrational, you know, everyday pain in your ass. This person went all out. I mean, they were a practitioner. They were an actual practitioner doing some sort of um, magic or spell work or something on you. It could, them and their person, it could have been them, the masculine and the feminine. So if something that they did didn't work, they could have enlisted the help of somebody that they were sleeping with or in a relationship with to be a flying monkey too. Yeah, they partnered up with a flying monkey. It's like these two people tried to attack you. And it, it wasn't just, like I said, this is not just a, a run-of-the-mill pain in the ass. Like, oh, we're just going to, to annoy this person. They really wanted to steal something from you. And it looks like money or something financially. They were expecting a big payday or payoff from you. Or at least one of them did. I don't know, um, the, the Empress in the Reverse could have known about this. I mean, it was a partnership, so they could have been aware of what was going on, and then they both started attacking you, so they could both be thieves. <clears throat> yeah, this person's gonna be sad, because you're gonna deny them. You know they're not really empathetic, it's a show, it's a mask, it's distorted energy, that's not their their true personality you know that's not who they really are because they showed their true colors to you and they betrayed you and hurt you in the past and you healed from this already so and luck is on your side this person is really upset because not only are you going to reject their bullshit flowers luck is on your side and your wishes are coming true and they could be seeing this it could be evident and this really bothers them yeah there's a witch here in despair because they wanted to stop you from receiving offers to not have any options. I mean, not only did they want to keep you trapped and isolated, they didn't want you to have any escape, any out. Except, it's like, like if a, a rat is in a maze and, you know, they're following the cheese, it's like they only wanted you to be able to go one direction. They wanted to block off every other exit or way around something. You had to go on this exact path for something to work out for them. For them to be able to steal something from you. And it's like you just fucking chewed through a wall and created your own path. And that's that has to do with your gifts and talents. That's why they're working so hard to stop you and affect your chakras or whatever it is that they're doing. Because you are able to create your own path. It's like they, they kept blocking off all these things for you. And you just, you're like, okay, then I'll make my own way. And you did. It's like... <laughs> You took a bulldozer and, like, knocked this shit down, and you just made your own way. And this has them in despair because they really didn't want you to be able to have any options. Because for an order to this to work out, like I said, it had to go a very specific way. And you changed it up on them every step of the way. Every time they tried to affect your peace or do some low vib vibrational shit, you switched it up and showed them that you really are gifted. And they really did not like this at all obviously
So this person did some really shitty stuff to you. So you could have lived with this person. There's some situation that has to do with a home and somebody being really pissed off. There could have been an altercation. Somebody could have yelled at you, told you to get out. Um, you could have left this person. Like I said, they wanted you alone in isolation. There's a situation here with a home. Somebody could be watching a home. Um, so if you lived with this person and it was their home or they owned a home or they thought they were getting some sort of home, it didn't work out. This person was very dark and um, they could have intentionally started an altercation to get you to leave a house or to kick you out or to get you to leave to make it seem like it was your idea. So say you picked up on this person's energy, they were very dark, you lived with this person, and it was their home or whatever. Um, they wanted you to leave and they wanted it to seem like it was your idea. So they, they did something intentionally to trigger you to upset you so that you would leave and they would have access to your stuff. And while they had access, if you chose to leave, while you were gone, they had access to your stuff. And they were going through your personal information, taking notes, possibly copying things, taking you know pictures of things. And that was the intention. The whole intention was for them to get you to move in with them. So they had access to your things, like your wallet. Like say you were in the shower or something. This person was going through your wallet, possibly taking pictures of your debit card or passwords, whatever. Um, that's why some of you may have had to change your passwords because this person may have had access to where you keep your passwords stored or located. And so say you were in the shower, if this person, they don't have to, but say they would come in and check on you, like your shower status, say if you're female and you're taking an everything shower, so it's going to take a little bit longer, then they would know how much time they had to go through your stuff. Well, this person wanted unlimited access to your things. So this person intentionally could have caused um, some sort of altercation so that you would choose to leave. This could even be like if you were married to them or something. Say you're the kind of person that would go stay at your mama's house or something if there was a fight. This person intentionally caused some sort of conflict so that you would leave and they would have access to your stuff. Um, and this could even be someone who's trying to gain access to your home when you leave the house so that they can gain information to find out where you're at, what, what your bank account information is. Whether you lived with this person or not, they either did this when you lived with them or they're trying to do this wherever you're located now. They're trying to gain access to where you're at or they did this um, to wherever you're located. They they needed access to your personal things. Okay. <clears throat> this person wants to partner up with you though. Maybe they do have some sort of feeling towards you, but I feel like mo for the most part, this person is very unemotional. They're cold hearted. They're the energy vampire, the king of swords and the reverse. It was to keep you trapped. They couldn't keep you trapped. Maybe, okay, this is going to sound really weird. Maybe they have a little crush on you or have, you know, this kind of person. I, I don't know if they actually have the capacity or capability to experience what real love is because um, I feel like this person's emotionally cut off, okay? But the fact that they were not able to do this to you, I, I, I'm getting it kind of, it turns them on a little bit. Like, they're very, they're attracted to the fact that they couldn't do this to you. Like, it bothers them. They're in despair. But they're also in despair because they have some sort of emotion about it. And they were not, they, maybe they weren't expecting this. They sure as hell weren't expecting you to escape the situation because they worked really hard to keep you bound and trapped, possibly at a, a house, a location, like a trap house, something like that. It doesn't have to be, but they were trying to keep you bound and trapped in isolation so that they could do something to you. But you're just chilling. You're relaxed. You're at peace. Like, you're fine. <laughs> this, this really bothers this person. It really has them bothered. Because they did something and they thought it was funny. Like, they really were playing games with you. But they ended up playing themselves out of a real one. But, like I said, I don't know if they really have the capacity to, you know, give themselves over totally emotionally with a real love situation. Because this person has some issues. Um, possibly sociopathic. Um, psychopathic tendencies. Uh, I, I just feel like this person doesn't have empathy. To do this kind of stuff to someone, they lack empathy. Okay. So it's kind of um, an oxymoron for this person to not have empathy, 
but yet they feel some sort of way. They do kind of feel some sort of emotion for you. And it also bothers them because I feel like they can't really figure out why they feel this way. But it maybe they thought you weren't as smart as they were or intelligent. And by you outsmarting them, it's pissing them off, but kind of turning them on in the same way. It's like a game of cat and mouse. You know, like the it's it's going from cat and mouse to almost I don't want to say kind of like Pepe Le Pew, but it's like it's like now they're 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 chasing after you. But I'm not going to say it's for love. I'm not saying it's for love reasons because they still um you know their finances were affected, so they need money. But um, they're feeling some kind of way about this and wanting to partner up with you. And even though it, it may be a slippery bullshit offer, there is some sort. There's like a grain of truth to it. That's the problem. And that's what you could be picking up on. You're just, and I'm not saying everybody, because some of you are like, no, nope, I can see right through their bullshit. But for some people who still are in a different spot in their journey, who still have hope that they can save people, especially if you're an empath. Oh my God, just be careful with these narcissists, man. You can't save everybody. You can't heal everybody, especially if they don't want to. So if you pick up on that little grain of emotion that they have for you, then you're like, okay, we can grow that. We can plant that. We can work with that. We can, we can save this. We can save this relationship. I feel like you're only going to be led to be disappointed. I mean, you know, do whatever you want, but I just feel like if you pick up on that and your hopes are hanging up on that, um, you know, it's... You're going to end up disappointed. This is an emperor in the reverse. Somebody who doesn't want to be married anymore. They could have married this empress in the reverse. Or this is somebody, you know, this can go either way. Or this is somebody that maybe you were married to or engaged to and they backed out. You know, this person was very dark. And you could have backed out on them because of, you know, you could have found out that they were trying to keep you bound or trapped. They have not been in peace. So they could have chose an older feminine, this empress in the reverse, and they have had no peace. This person does not have peace. Um, so they could have married this um, empress that they chose over you, that they betrayed you for, that they worked with. And then they both could have been attacking you. And um, this person has been affecting their peace. Like, Somebody could have gotten left out in the wilderness. Somebody wanted someone to be trapped. This could have been, they wanted, somebody wanted you to be trapped, homeless, possibly out in the wilderness with no place to go so that you only had one direction to go. Yeah, this person's marriage has just been, once again, it, there's no peace. This person does not have peace in this situation and they could have actually married this person. They could have ended up getting stuck with them. But that's kind of, the, well, it's not kind of, it is of their own doing. They, they had a choice to make. When they were at the Wheel of Fortune, they had a decision to make. They had you in a competition, and they chose somebody else. They want you to cancel your plans. Stop what you're working on. Let them control your life. Let them control your narrative. Let them control your destiny. Relax. It will be over soon. <sighs> this person's saying they feel butterflies they're trying to make you feel what you felt for them before i feel butterflies near you and then in the reverse love at first sight in the reverse okay so i feel butterflies near you is in the upright and then i f love at first sight so this person you or them or both of you may have felt like something was love at first sight obviously they played on this for you this was a manipulation tactic right because they're cold-hearted they had something to gain from you so they played on your emotions the first time around, okay? And maybe you wanted to believe them, okay? You could have seen the red flags and you're like, okay, but I see that little grain of feeling there. I see that little emotion. And so you get, you tried to give them the benefit of the doubt, okay? But it, it wasn't. It was all a game. It was all manipulation, right? So you could have already found this out. They still want to come towards you and give you those butterfly feelings. And they could be saying, but I've never felt like this before, but they've already tried it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, <laughs> they already did it once. <clears throat> you, you need to up your spiritual protection. They betrayed you. So you did a cord cutting or somebody did a cord cutting um, after they betrayed you or you needed to. 
that's why they don't have access to your energy because they betrayed you and it doesn't even have to be an actual like ritual or anything like that um core cuttings can be very simple and i don't want to get into that many people do it many different ways um you know you don't have to go out and do actual spell work or anything like that to do a cord cutting, but there is an intention. You do have to take some sort of action and, you know, you do, whether it's, you have to have your intentions behind whatever it is you do, even if it's just thinking, praying on it, lighting a candle, whatever your intention is, however you do your cord cuttings, okay? Um, not everything is um, <clears throat> complicated, but whatever you did, however you did it, you did it because they betrayed you. So this person lost their spiritual gifts they lost they lost them so this person that was doing some sort of spell work on you um or had some sort of spiritual gift and this, this could even be them having the gift of sight um they don't have them anymore and they're purposefully lying to cover their ass and they want you to enter into a contract with them this could be a deal or a marriage so they could be wanting to um, entice you to marry them and trap you up but your instincts are on point you need to proceed with caution do not test the water with both both feet this person is crazy i know how to use crazy they are a false prophet false teacher you're going to be receiving some sort of unexpected help and this has this person very anxious an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is involved and they have no shame they're unapologetic and then i never apologize in the reverse and they were immature don't give up on your dreams in the reverse they wanted to you to give up on everything that you held dear there was competition you don't know about we've already established that they're still driving by your house they're still trying to cover up illegal activities they could have tried to affect your health someone needs a balanced diet in the reverse they could have tried to affect your health or they ended up in bad health someone's in bad health in the last six to nine months they tried to affect your health or they did something they, they wanted money, so they were doing something to affect your health. This came to be mental health, um, but a balanced diet. You needed a balanced diet and something, and they were trying to affect that. Once again, they could need one, or whoever they chose, the Empress in the reverse. There's good cops, good law officials getting involved in this. Yeah, someone someone was a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. Something didn't turn out the way they expected it to. Yeah, they caused you pain. So they were intentionally being a pain in the neck, pain in the butt, to cause you pain, to cause you heartache. You know, we established that earlier. This is the dark before the dawn for you. You're coming out of this dark place where you're already on your way out. And that has this person in despair because, like I said, you... While they had, they were trying to keep you trapped in the maze, you made your own way out. You didn't follow their way out because your only way out would have been through them. And you're like, bullshit. <laughs> They expected you to jump into something with both feet with them. And not question them. Um, 11th hour, Hail Mary Pass. They're going to come to you and um, they're going to they're gonna be praying for like that 11th hour miracle, that Hail Mary Pass. They feel like they're still going to be able to make one final move because they didn't have a positive outcome. They're not going to have a positive outcome with fun in the sun in the reverse. They're a dime a dozen in the reverse. They're not anything special in whatever spiritual gifts they lost them because they were using them for dark purposes. And you're seeing as the stuff dreams are made out of. You know, and it, it could even be the person that they partnered up with that could have lost their spiritual gifts and they could have been a dime a dozen or it could be both of them. And that's because you're the real deal. You're the real McCoy here. You have control of the situation or your own life. You took the tiger by its tail. Yeah, these people were impatient. They did something impatiently. Patience is a virtue in the reverse with the Pisces. They wanted you to act impulsively, especially if you were a Pisces, or this could have been a Pisces who took some sort of action impulsively to make something happen because it might not have been happening as quick as they would have liked. 
and then there was a panic button and an Aries in the reverse as well. So these these are two signs that could have been working together. Um, it could have been against you that did something impulsively. Um, they took some sort of action to force you to take to make a move. Okay, they they did something. They forced your hand to make a move because they needed you to keep going. It's like you're on a time schedule here. Um, a Leo significant that you're in the upright here. So you could be a Leo, strength, courage, you know, that goes along with that 10 of wands energy and that strength card. Um, you could be pissed off. Okay. Um, am I pissing you off? So whatever action you're taking, you're pissing them off because you're, <laughs> it's like, whoop, whoop, you want me to go here? I'm going this way. And you left them spinning their wheels, spin your wheels in the reverse and two peas in a pod. This person is a wolf. They're back to square one, starting from scratch. Okay. And then we have a Taurus in the reverse, and this is not supposed to be in this deck. Actions speak louder than words, okay? You're not talking about shit. You're doing shit. You're making shit happen. So your actions um, are speaking. You don't have to say a word. Your actions say everything that they have to say. You know what I mean? These people are thieves by hook or crook. You're coming out of the woods here. It's as dead as a doornail. Ten of swords. March is significant here. Um, we had Pisces and Aries come out. Time is of the essence here. They wanted you to be poor as a church mouse. This bird of a feather flocked together and a cancer. So that goes along with that group of people here. So there's a cancer that is connected to a group of people. But they're beating a dead horse. And they're not getting their happily ever after because you're never looking back. Because they are all talking no action. How ironic is that? This is not your long lost love. Pisces. There's going to be a Pisces here that's going to be happy as a clam. You're moving to calmer waters. Alright, the letter D could be significant person, place, or thing. DM. Someone's going to be in your DM. Someone already sent you a DM or they're going to. <clears throat> and on that note, I never message anyone. I only have one YouTube account set up and I only have one TikTok. And my Facebook is private, so I don't like use a Facebook for, you know, this kind of stuff here. Um, but I, yeah, I never solicit anyone and I will not DM anyone ever. Um, so if anyone does any contacting, um, you know, you have to contact me. So if there are any fakes or frauds, I know on TikTok, a lot of people, um, especially if you have followers and stuff like that, um, there will be these copycats that imitate, um, and make these spoof accounts to make, try to make money and stuff like that. My, my, my stuff is what it is, you know, um, yeah, but I only have one TikTok account, and so, and I barely use that. I mostly use my YouTube account, so. Why? Someone could be DMing you and asking you why. D. A. So we have D-A-Y. So someone could be DMing you, sending you a message in the daytime. You. They could be even DMing you, asking you out, asking you to talk to them, speak to them. Another why. So we're getting multiples here again. So they're trying to replicate something, duplicate something. Something that they've already done before that you escaped from. So just be careful of that. Um, you know, you have a clean slate coming and then another you. Yeah, so we're going to stop pulling letters. You're mature, M.A. M.A. is rated for mature. Uh, you're matured. You've, you've grown. This person did not. They didn't want to transform. They didn't want to do the shadow work, okay? They want to stay in that little vibrational energy. Let them. It's your choice. Do, what you're, do whatever you're going to do. So we have two D's, two Y's, two U's, and then M.A. Someone's ma could be significant. <clears throat> Someone's mother could be significant. Um, they could have convinced them to do something to work with them. If this was not a sexual relationship, this emperor and the reverse, it was somebody that had influence over this person. Um, so, and you could also be a mother. So just keep that in mind. Keep, you know, be careful about what you expose your children to. 
um, this person has no um, good intentions for you. You know, <laughs> that, that Kaya song, that mm -mm, don't mean you no good, don't trust no, mm -mm, no, don't trust no, mm -mm, no, motherfucker get gone. So, yeah, that song could be significant. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.